12 tips and tricks to help you get the most out of the battery life on your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Timestamps are down in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. For our first tip, let's learn how to improve the Wi-Fi efficiency on our S24 Ultra, which also improves the battery life. Swipe down to go into settings. You're gonna tap on connections, tap on your Wi-Fi network, open up the three dot menu, tap on intelligent Wi-Fi. You're gonna scroll down a little bit and then you'll see Wi-Fi power saving mode. And what this will do is help reduce the battery usage by lowering the number of times that it's reaching out for open Wi-Fi networks. So this is great to turn on when you're at home with your home Wi-Fi network. For this next tip, let's set up a couple different routines to help improve the battery life on our S24 Ultra. So you'll go back into your phone settings, modes and routines, and then we're gonna tap over here on routines. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a new routine. Hit the plus sign, in our if statement here, add what will trigger this routine. So we're gonna hit the plus sign here, and then we're gonna scroll down until we see battery level. And then what we wanna do is go ahead and set up a threshold for when we want power saving mode to turn on. So I'm gonna go ahead and set mine to 40%. So we'll set it to 40. All right, we're gonna hit done. All right, so now our then condition, what does this routine do when we hit that 40% battery level? So let's go ahead and go into there, and then we're gonna scroll down until we get to battery. And then once we're in there, we're gonna hit power saving. We're gonna tell it to turn on, click done. And we're gonna click save. It's giving it a default name of battery level. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the default. We're gonna hit done. Now we've created a new routine that says when my battery level gets to 40% or lower, go ahead and turn on power saving mode. And then when the battery charge reaches 40% or above, go ahead and disable power savings mode. And if you're curious as to what power savings mode does, it looks like this. You'll go into your settings, we'll go into battery, tap on power saving, and this is what power saving mode does. So it's gonna turn off your AOD, limit your CPU to 70%, decrease your brightness by 10%. So we basically told our phone when we hit 40% or below, go ahead and enable all of this, and once we're back above 40%, go ahead and turn all this off. Let's go ahead and set up one more routine. So we're back into modes and routines, back over to routines, we're gonna hit the plus sign again. And then we're gonna go ahead and pick another if condition. So now we're gonna say if app is opened, let me go ahead and go down here, app opened. What I'm looking for is maps. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that real quick. There's maps right here. All right, we'll go ahead and hit done. In our then condition, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to location. Location, we're gonna pick that. And then we're gonna go ahead and say to turn location on. We're gonna click done. We're gonna click save. We'll go ahead and name this one Maps, and we're gonna hit Done now. And now what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and turn Location off and make that our default. So now what happens when I open up Maps, let's go ahead and do that. We'll open up Maps, swipe down, and you'll see that Location has turned itself on. Let's go ahead and exit out of Maps real quick, completely exit out of it, swipe down, you'll see here that location has turned itself off. So that's really cool. What we're basically saying is keep our location, keep our GPS off unless we turn maps on. And the cool thing is too, is we can modify this routine a little bit, go back into maps, and we can say if app opened, and we can pick for more than one app. We don't just have to pick maps. We can also pick like our banking app, or if you have some uh, bicycle tracking apps, anything that relies on GPS, go ahead and add all those apps to this list that way they'll turn GPS on and they'll turn GPS back off when you're done with those apps. And if you decide you don't wanna use any of these temporarily, you can press on hold on any one of them and you have a disable and delete option. So you can pick and choose which one of these you want to be active at any given time. All right, for this next tip, let's go back into our settings. Now we'll go into our display settings and then screen resolution. And then if you wanna conserve a little bit more battery power, if you're at QHD plus like I am, 1440p, Go ahead and lower it down to 1080p, full HD+, and this is gonna help conserve battery power. It'll also make your apps and your app drawer and all that feel just a little bit smoother as well. For our next tip, you're gonna be back in settings. You also wanna go back into display settings, and you wanna make sure that you are in dark mode. The panel on our S24 Ultra is a dynamic AMOLED 2X screen, which is OLED based. And the way OLED works is for all the black pixels on your screen, there is no light being emitted, which conserves battery power. When you have dark mode enabled, all of your settings and most of your UI elements of One UI will remain black, and quite a few of your apps will transition over. 
However, we can take this a step further if you want to force all your apps to go into dark mode. Go back into our settings real quick. Go all the way down to About Phone, Software Information. Type on build number repeatedly eight times. Put in your passcode and that's going to enable developer options. Let's go back a couple screens. All right. And go down a little bit further. Now we have developer options and we want to scroll all the way down till we see force dark mode. Go ahead and toggle this on and this is going to force pretty much all of your apps and everything on your phone to be in dark mode. For this next tip, you want to be in your phone settings again. We're going to scroll all the way down until we see device care. Once you're in device care, scroll down just a little bit. Performance profile. Go ahead and go in here. We have the standard performance profile and light. So by enabling the light performance profile, it's going to use less of the CPU. It's going to throttle everything back. Your phone's going to run a little bit cooler and you're going to extend the battery life on your device. Do keep in mind that when you're in the light performance mode, it does not stay there when you enter gaming mode. So if you open up the game launcher or open up any games, it's going to automatically switch from light to standard. And when you're done gaming, it'll go back into light performance mode. For this next tip, you want to be back in your phone settings again. We're going to go down until we get to battery. And then once we're in here, we'll turn on battery protection. By turning on battery protection, this will prevent your phone from getting charged past 85%. That's the maximum it'll charge up to. I recommend turning this setting on if you plan on keeping your S24 Ultra for an extended period of time. You know, if you're gonna have it for more than a few years, especially now that we have the seven years of OS and security updates, like if you're looking to hold on to this device for a very long time, it's a good idea to turn this on. However, if you only plan on keeping your device for a couple years, I really recommend just leaving this off and getting the whole 100% out of your battery because you're going without 15% battery on a day-to-day -day basis. So use this one at your discretion. These next two tips kind of go without saying, but I'm throwing them in anyways because they do make a dramatic difference. Back into phone settings, let's go into display, and let's lower our screen time out. The lower you can set this number, the more you're gonna conserve battery because your phone's just gonna turn off more often. This next tip is another obvious one, but it actually makes the biggest difference of probably everything. Swipe down, lower your brightness. That's the main thing. Adjust your brightness. Turn your brightness down makes a huge difference on how much battery life you'll have at the end of the day. For this next tip, if you don't have any Wi-Fi 7 routers or appliances in your home, why enable it on your phone? Let's go ahead and learn how to turn that off so we can conserve more battery power. Let's go into our settings. We're going to tap on connections. You're going to tap on your Wi-Fi network. The three dot menu again. We're going to go back into intelligent Wi-Fi. Now you're going to scroll all the way down until you see intelligent Wi-Fi here at the bottom. Go ahead and tap on this several times. And what this is going to do is open up a lab section right down here. And then once you have that open, go ahead and tap on Connectivity Labs. You're going to scroll down just a little bit. You have a lot of cool stuff in here. And we also have Wi-Fi 7 mode. So if you don't have any Wi-Fi 7 appliances, routers, all that good stuff, like I don't have any, I don't plan on upgrading to Wi-Fi 7 for like another year. Go ahead and turn this off. You will save battery power. For this next tip, back into our phone settings again. Go down to lock screen and AOD. Go ahead and turn always on display off. This is gonna make a dramatic difference in your battery life throughout the day. I know for a lot of you, you wanna have this on, you know, it's the hotness and all that. Everyone wants always on display enabled, but if you can get by with leaving this disabled, you are going to conserve a lot of battery life. For this next tip, we're back into our phone settings again. Go down to battery, and then we're gonna go into background usage limits, and then we're gonna tap on deep sleeping apps. And what we have here is a list of user added and automatically added apps that have been slated for deep sleep. By putting an application into deep sleep, it uses little to no battery power whatsoever. It's basically a situation of your phone remembers the app is on your device, but it's not doing anything else with it. Go ahead and tap the plus sign. Now you wanna go through all the apps that you have on your particular S24 Ultra and start adding all of the apps that you don't use to deep sleep. This will improve the battery life on your S24 Ultra. And for our final tip for today's video, let's learn how to set up a bedtime routine that will automatically put our S24 Ultra into power saving mode at night while we're asleep, and it'll take it out of that mode when it's time for us to wake up. The first thing you wanna do is head out to the Samsung Galaxy Store. And once you're there, you wanna search for Good Guardians and go ahead and install that. 
And what this is, is this is similar to Samsung's Good Lock in that it adds additional functionality to your Galaxy S24 Ultra. Once you have Good Guardians open, you wanna go ahead and download and install the Battery Guardian module. Let's go ahead and open it up. You're gonna scroll all the way down until you see Power Saving During Bedtime. Go ahead and toggle that on, and it's gonna give you a set sleep time. So we're gonna pick the time that we go to sleep, and we're gonna pick the time that we wake up in the morning. We'll go ahead and hit Done. And now what's gonna happen is that our phone is gonna go into power saving mode at 10 p.m. at night, and then it's gonna turn power saving mode off at 7 a.m. in the morning. I would also take a look at all the other modules that you have here in Good Guardians as well. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.